Hi, G. John Brove from Above God's Name channel. Joining us again, Brother Howard L. Seth. Brother, how are you? Great. I'm glad to be with you. I'm glad to be with you. We're Thank going to you. talk about something right now that uh, I have found that if two Christians who are really seeking the Lord can embrace, then the portion that Christ has given the one brother and the portion that the other brother has received from Christ can be uh, mutually existing together. Absolutely. And that important joining word that we're going to talk about is the word and, A-N-D, and. Because, for example, in our fellowshipping, you've seen things, and those things have been laid out in this way. Then I have seen things, we're talking about the same topic, but I've seen them laid out differently. Now, if we put the word or between, we, and I'm not saying that there's not a time when it is or, right. but we need discernment in walking with God, don't we? Because there are times when it is or. For example, King James Bible or NIV. Right. That's an or, not That's an and. Right. <laughs> but there are times, and we need the Father's discernment, that when between our views is the word and, so that what God has shown me, what God has shown you, can both be appreciated, and that they're not being revealed differently to you and I, so that one will crush the other, yeah. or out-compete the other. They complement each other. Or expose the other, right. They may be totally different, and yet they're complementary. Yes, very much. And we're getting in this technique of God, we're getting a double portion. I think it's absolutely marvelous how God's done this. And it just shows that there is a fragile relationship between brothers with the Father's heart in between the two that needs to be very carefully handled so that what is being given as bread from the Father is not uh, wasted on one end or the other end. That word and, what do you think about that word and in relationship like that? It's a powerful word. I think it's one of God's favorite words. Mm. It's the second most used word in the Bible. Mm -hmm. It occurs over in the 1611 over 25,000 times. Wow. The last chapter of the book of Revelation chapter 22 starts with an and and has about eight ands starting scriptures, which is new beginning. So it's a powerful thing to God. Amen. And, and he uses this, and it means in addition to, he brings to things together complementary, just yes. as you said. You may look, see, uh, the, the sword of God is like a big diamond, and there's so many facets on a diamond that one person sees one, and he interprets the whole diamond from that facet. But if you look at another facet, you see it another way. And it's all part of the same diamond. Yes, it is. It is. And, and so he uses that. And when, you know, when I went to high school, I'll never forget, I wasn't a great student. And particularly in English, I thought that was a boring subject. Now I think it's one of the most exciting <laughs> And they taught me. Hey, and, hey, likewise. Yeah. I hated to read. Yes. Hated to read. When I got saved, the All new wanted, spirit was in me right. wanting to read that word of God. I'll never uh, forget the teacher said, don't ever start a sentence with and. God, I guess, wasn't in that class because he starts <laughs> a lot of scriptures with and and a lot of books with and. Amen. And uh, also, and is the second word. Remember how he shifts thing, usually from the older son to the next born. That second son was special to God, and, and he got that second role. That's kind of, and is like a second son to the, mm. uh, which is the most used word the in the Bible. The would be very isolating. Yes. 
and would be very inclusive. It's a, a definite article. It separates, and yet there's a time to be separated, come out of Babylon, come out of things. And so the we'll talk about later is a very important word, but mm -hmm. and is inclusive and brings things together in addition to. And if we understand this word, how it is, it's like a yoke that yokes things together. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so powerful. And that's why I love it. I, in the museum, we have a whole kind of placard showing how and works and what it is. Wonderful. When Christians have not had the experience that you and I have had. I say experience because the scales came from our eyes. Absolutely. That is an experience. Yes. Many Christians who have not had that experience are stumbling because of the 1611 and the consequential editions that have come forth. We're going to talk about those. This video is almost a setup for that, if you will. Okay. Because if those Christians could understand deeply, really have a sensitivity to God and this word that he has, and, they would not be so quick to cast out the King James Bible by hold fasting to the word or. Right. Which Bible? The 1611 or the Sep... Or, there it is. Right. Or, or the right. 1769. Huh. Take your King James Bible and get out of here. Right. They think that's the end of the matter. Right. And they think that they've won the battle with you by putting out the word or. O-R. Right. But it's really the word and. So often, what God is doing is this and... Right. It, it has become a stumbling stone to a lot of people because they haven't understood and and understood the family of the King James Bible. What a word. Family of the King James Bible. See? Now this is just another example of I wording things totally different. Now, when we came together, I quickly learned from you about using this terminology and viewing what's happening with the editions of the King James Bible as a family. And we're going to have a whole video on that because yeah, absolutely. What, what God has shown you in that is absolutely brilliant. It's brilliant. Wow. It's brilliant because it's from the Lord. So it's very yeah. bright. What he's shown me is how the editions that have come out um, are not as a family. And that's not saying yours is wrong because we're using the word and. That's what he gave you. What he gave me was how the Lord is showing the oneness of his singular life through many editions. We're going to have videos on that. Mm -hmm. But if we put the word or between us, no, it's not a family, Howard. No, it is this right here. It's the singularness of the one life of the Lord Jesus in a telescopic way. And I have to have that word or between us. Mm -hmm. Our fellowship is going to break. Right, absolutely. And you know whose loss that is? It's yours and mine. Right. And the Father's. Right. And the Father's. And the Son, too. And the yes. Son. Yeah. But by understanding and having that real awareness of God and who He is in His ways and being able to have between us a mature understanding of Him, having touched Him, and we have that word, and. Now, this brilliant revelation that you have, which is very different than mine, they're not competing anymore. It brings us together in a fellowship. And a double portion. Right. Because now, not only do I see what God's shown me, I see what God's shown you. And I see that what He's shown me He's shown you regarding this, which, again, we're going to have a whole video on, on exactly what we're alluding to right now. Look for that. But now I get both views. Now the King James Bible is even 
richer to my palate, Amen. my spiritual palate. There, there's a, a, a book called First John, the first chapter. It's such an exciting chapter to me because it takes words like fellowship and it'll tell you with one L, we have fellowship with one another. Uh, and then the second time it uses it, it'll have fellowship with two L's. And, and scholars say, well, I, they just didn't know how to spell. But what they're describing is one came together with the other and they had fellowship with the Father. In other words, and the two are connected. You yes. see what I'm saying? They, I see exactly what you're saying. Yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong, what I'm hearing from you is we have intentionally, by the translators of the King James Bible, and that would mean they're under the supervision of of the Spirit, that would mean intentionally by God, right, right. they will use, perhaps even in the same verse, fellowship double L, F-E-L-L, -L, right. fellowship singular L, F-E-L, and that those work together. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, absolutely. So it's not one or the other as in this spelling's right and this spelling's wrong. Well, it, it, it's like here. Uh, we have seen, we have heard unto you that you may have fellowship with us. Spelled with one L, which is nine letters, which to me relates to salvation. But And truly our fellowship is with the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ, which is like a higher level or sanctification. And that's a different... Spelling using it's the L's. a different spelling. It's okay. two L's. And then again, if we say we have fellowship with Him and we walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship. Now it's two L's with one another. In other words, and is between. In other words, they're they're coming together, and yes. the, the two L's are 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 making a family. Yes. And they're giving us a double portion of understanding. A double now, portion. Before you spoil that revelation and give it early yeah. to our video watchers, I want you to hold and I'll, I'll, bite your tongue right there I'll because we're gonna head. we're gonna do a whole video segment on oh, the letter time. L. Oh, the letter L. And the okay. double letter L. Okay. And we'll see how singular, double, it's not or, one or right. the other. They work for revelatory purposes together. So it's really LL and L. And there are other letters to do that. E does the same thing. It, it, it we'll get to them. Right. Yeah. We'll get to them. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. But what's important and what we're driving home right now, Christian, you, Christian, is how important that the spirit of and is. is and uh, the bringing two people together. The spirit yes. of and bringing two people together. I, I'm reminded of don't judge. Uh, too, it's too easy for, and I'm guilty of this too, of judging other Christians and, and especially judging God and his word to not understand what God is trying to show us. Right. How to walk in harmony with each other. There's so many Christians that are divided, so many different denominations, so many different Bibles, because they, they want this or that or. They put the or between everything instead of the and and understanding how, how God's word works. Yes. Now, like everything with God, if we've gone too far, then we've also transgressed, haven't right. we? Absolutely. So, there has to be a discernment in using the word and. I started the video and I said, we're not talking about NIV and KJB, right. King James Bible. We're not talking about NIV, I'm sorry, uh, ESV and KJB, King James Bible. So as all things are in walking with God, we must walk the beam. What's interesting about these modern versions they don't want to hook up with the King James. You go into an NIV church or New American Standard Church and say, I'm King James only, you're going to be ostracized. They yes. don't want the and. Right. Because they know that your and, in that case, is leading ultimately to an or. Right. And a correct or. Because God is dividing between the chaff and the wheat. So Rightly dividing the we wheat. have to have discernment using the and, but... What happens all too often is 
there's not discernment and so and is never even understood right between brothers in the matters of seeking out and especially the higher we go in the upward calling of God in Christ Jesus to know and have understanding about what God's doing in this book the Bible we really then all the more need that and between us and one thing I want to say here and I don't want to go into spoil it the next uh, another video but there's a place throughout the whole 1611 where he has a double and and they're almost in every chapter you take us there when the time comes right this is an important word church and yes that's a word that requires long suffering and patience we'll see you on the next video amen amen